Let us continue looking at the actual staging process. Thank you. Another step is choosing the right furniture. Place simple furnishings like a small dining room table, one or two easy chairs in the bedrooms, and add accents or possibly a queen-size bed in the master bedroom. These are four vacant homes that contain very little furniture. Some people advocate staging a property with a complete home full of furniture. That's often necessary for larger homes or homes where you are trying to get top dollar. However, in regards to staging, you should be able to get away with minimal furniture. With that said, you do need to include some furniture. For higher-end homes, you can rent furniture for your showing or look for staging companies. We have included an appendix at the end of this book with staging tips. Refer to that section and review it carefully. See if you can do them all. You should also pay attention to flooring. Clean all of your carpets and floor tiles. Replace outdated or worn floor coverings. Replace old linoleum and carpets with a laminate wood floor or a finish existing hardwood floors. Polish damaged or worn hardwood floors instead of sanding or refinishing them. Remember to include some area rugs. Use larger rugs to hide any unattractive areas. Your buyers will look at everything, but their initial response will be to consider the home as it is. Remove dated wallpaper. Some homes, condos and town homes have wallpaper. If the wallpaper is well hung, just leave it. Otherwise, peel and strip the paper or prime and paint it to create a textured finish. If your walls contain a gaudy purple and white wallpaper, you're probably better off removing it completely. Pay attention to the kitchen. Remember that the kitchen is the heart of any home. Include a set of attractive dish towels, a paper towel holder, and some accents on the kitchen counter. Don't clutter it with small appliances. Clean your appliances, and replace any outdated or ugly appliances with new ones. Clean your stove thoroughly, including the ceramic top. Replace burner trays if you have an older stove. If your home is vacant, consider adding a wine bottle and two glasses. If you have a dining room table, add some place settings and a candlestick. Your goal is to create a warm feeling without going overboard. For countertops, get the measurements and have them produced for you if choose granite or man-made stone. If you prefer laminate, have it locally made or use a spray-on epoxy coating over a salad or dated countertop. Don't forget the bathrooms. Just like the kitchen, your bathrooms should contain matching towels, a tissue dispenser and some potpourri. The shower and bathtub need to be squeaky clean. Make sure the shower curtain is attractive and pull it back to show off the tubs around or tiles. Include a floor mat. Remove that old, fuzzy toilet seat cover and install a new toilet seat. Add a magazine rack to create a lived-in look and install a large built-in medicine cabinet. Replace dated mirrors with the largest framed mirror impossible as mirrors make a room appear larger. Touch up any scratches in your tub, remove mildew and recock all of the seams. Of course, you also need to declutter the rest of the room. Sure, leave your house smelling like a rose. Involve as many senses as possible when entering your house. You should make sure a pleasant smell wafts out of the doorway as soon as anyone enters. Make sure it is not an overpowering scent. If possible, open all the windows to freshen up the house. Avoid harsh cleaners. Instead, Use environmentally friendly cleaners such as vinegar and citrus oil or commercial, green, products. Also add some vanilla scented plug-in air fresheners for the bathrooms and kitchen. Play soothing sounds. Purchase a couple of inexpensive CD players and play some soft jazz or similar music in the kitchen and living room and soft classical music in the master bedroom. Leave them playing all the time in a vacant property. Finally, paint floors and window wells. Paint the floors in any unfinished rooms such as a basement, loft or garage. They will show much better, and the new smell suggests to buyers you have cared for your home. Add some extra lighting, then if it's just a battery-operated light in the basement or loft. You want to show off the place. Once again, clean everything, remove all debris and paint the inside of the window wells in the basement a light color. Leave one or two strategically placed paint cans in your furnace room so the buyer acknowledges that you have been painting. 
they will also know that paint is readily available if they need to do some touch-ups after moving. Appeal to as many of their senses as possible and make your house memorable before they look at another home. Thank you.